to get into a scoop grip, coming in, one, inverting our knee to the mat, connecting the elbow connection. From here, Luis is gonna bring his head, he's gonna weight his leg to this side. The second uh, this happens, I'm gonna look to connect a collar tie position. And I'm gonna shoot, coming into a one in, one out. From here, I'm gonna look to pendulum, using my back leg. And then from here, we have a couple different options. Right now, it feels like you're gonna just knock over Luis. If his base is strong, I'm gonna look to choke him through the shoulder, we're gonna get the tap. It feels like I can disrupt his base. You guys can swim through to the other side, knock him on the back end, looking to take a uh, triangle from the rear. Generally, uh, lock triangle position would be one of the better places to do uh, arm bars, arm attacks. Granted, you can look to choke him too. So practice splitting the hands. One of the better grip breaks is grabbing your own armpit, grabbing the shoulder. And just splitting it, feeding it into the armpit. The one you guys can play with rotating it as well, different arm lock variations. So, partner has a lower head position on the king guard. So they don't get set backwards. We're looking to send them backwards from here. I'm taking a collar tie, and then I'm gonna look to pummel to the outside. Different things that can happen with this uh, this hand here that you might have to address. There's times that you might have to just strip and shoot coming in. There's times where it's gonna be in the armpit where you're just gonna kind of swivel and come in from here, off to the side, try to change your alignment where your knees facing your partner's uh, center line, right down his crotch. From there, as we go, we're gonna have to press in right choke up to the shoulder. From there, if you can, we're going to take this hand and go to the far side, breaking him to the mat, getting the elbow overhead, boom, and then getting to an arm walk variation, whether it's Americana kind of twisting or straight arm lock pressure. So, coming in, K guard, doing the triangle. One, two, three. Coming from the head. All right, so we're working from here. As they're looking to come in and cross face, I'm gonna be bringing my body back as they're grabbing my head. Boom, from here, I'm gonna look to pull, and I'm gonna throw my leg over, immediately attacking the short bar. From here, it's very likely Ace is gonna like keep a bent arm and look to get back into the hands or her leg, uh, one of those uh, reactions. My goal here is to lace the foot to the far side and then start splitting the grip. From here we have a couple different options on how we like to go. One good option if they grab the hands and they're super strong and can't break the grip, I'm gonna go to Kimura. I'm gonna place a foot on the mat and I'm gonna look to turn in to my partner, coming in immediately, looking to grab uh, the secondary shoulder. From there, I'm just gonna pull in Another option you can have is using your ankle triangle to come up and just build up to this position, looking to drive in to the side of the neck. Boom. Other side, right side coming in. Ace looks cross face is coming. From here, I'm pulling my head back. She's grabbing my head. Take my thumb. I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna create a bend, throw it over the top. From here, Ace is able to find her hands together. I'm able to lace. I don't feel like I can break it. I'm gonna go to Kimura. From there, I start turning in. I shoot ankle triangle. If I can get to the far side shoulder, a lot of times I feel pretty reliable on getting that choke. I can't get that. You guys can also look for Kind of key lock Americana variations, or alternatively, you guys can play with building up. Break it through low. We're coming in. Ideally, it's on the side of the neck. My team supports that far side hip. That fails. Pull back on the backs. So, facing in, toy bar going to Kimura. Shoot your ankle triangle. It's good to go. One, two, three. Thank you. Uh, Toy bar, back stepping to the back take, so. However, we look to do so, we're in, 
They're coming for the head, we move back, we catch, we come in. As we look to lace here, uh, we're gonna say Luis right now is gonna be grabbing uh, his leg. Right here, from here, I'm gonna take my shoelace on the back of the head, coming in. We're gonna look to build up, shooting through, looking for the back thing, coming in. Now from here, a couple different options. I do generally recommend, if you can, uh, get the leg in particular. Keep the leg uh, across the hip line and start to flare out on your uh, body triangle, coming in, lacing it. This makes it a lot easier when you're attempting to break them down, like Luis is already about to fall over, but if we put this in conjunction with the power half, it's the same direction you're pushing the head through the armpit to turn out the knee. So as I go, this turn this power. Well, we go, we go through and we're already in. Now from here, what I'm gonna look to do is I'm gonna look to throw my hook to the inside and I'm gonna start building up, coming across the face. So I'm gonna be bellying them down in this direction. With this does, it makes it pretty easy to get this arm across the center line. If Luis looks to turn back into me, I'm gonna fall to the mat and I'm gonna fall into the RNC. If Luis does it, I'm just gonna belly him down this direction with my body triangle. And then from there, you guys can play a game we're going to pass them off from underneath the net. You guys could look to just finish from there, going through the face. Ultimately, it's going to be up to you. But that build up, a lot of times, is going to assist. Let's just go to the back. It's going to assist your ability to clear the arc. So if like Luis is keeping his hands high, he's giving me a hard time. What I'm doing is I'm taking it from the outside throwing it inside, and I'm building up to try to belly him down. It's gonna help assist my ability to come in. If Luis kind of fights me right here, when I come down, I'm gonna shoot the elbow behind and be in a good position to finish. So we're just gonna add that back step from the Troy bar, lacing our shoelace, our foot on the head, shooting back from there, breaking down with the power half, Get into the back, hook the belly them down, shooting your arm team. Any questions? All right, let's give it a go. One, two, three. 